today we will learn about one of the uh, important features in Microsoft Excel which is pivot table with the help of pivot table lot of exercises can be done especially for the sales sales persons so it will be very very uh, effective to keep the record to find out the record uh, the data to fetch the data it will be pretty easy so this is the um, uh, pivot table i have created this is the uh, pivot table how to create this so preliminary how to create that let's go to one press tab over here suppose this is the table suppose this is the existing data table where these are the informations available date name region sale amount so and this is the date wise this is the date wise entry here and these are the now suppose sales person's name and which region east west north south maybe uh, more than uh, more than one uh, persons are employed in each uh, region or area and these are the total sales in each area so um, how to create this pivot table for this select any of the any of the cell of the existing table then go to insert tab here and here is the pivot table so you need to click here pivot table then this dialog box uh, will appear create pivot table so the entire table is now selected now it will ask for the destination where you want the pivot table report to be placed if you click this new box sheet by default it is like that then new box sheet will be uh, created or you can you can uh, create it uh, here in the existing work set so for this existing work set um, uh, you just uh, need to specify uh, the cell suppose this cell i have created uh, i have entered so now click ok that's fine now you can see this is uh, this is the pivot table now pivot table is now created so here is the feature this is the uh, row level and column level here you can see these are the options available here one two three four date name region and cell so these four columns are available so you can you can drag and drop drag and drop here either in the row level or in the column level suppose i want to put this date here so you can see this date this date came here in the row level suppose i want to uh, put this uh, um, cell this cell this is the value this is also at row level you can see this is came so date and cell like this suppose region just drag and drop here i want to just drag and drop suppose in the column level so it will look like so this is the zoom wise and this is the grand total this is the grand total you can you can alter also the row levels and column levels data suppose if you drag and drop this region from column level to row level it will come here or this date here in column level now you can see the changes here in this pivot table so likewise you can customize the pivot table as per your requirement so here these all are the pivot tables what i have done here in this pivot table you can see this region and cell uh, this uh, at the row levels region is here and here count max mean all these functions are here and in column level these are the values so this is the maximum cell this is minimum cell this is average cell so i have put and you can also go to go to this uh, design tab over here and you can change the color also you can see the color is the color of the table you can change the color or the 
color or the um, uh, you know style you can change from here okay so this uh, this is the uh, this is also at a row level you can see region and name so this region and name in the uh, row level and values are this is the sum of cell so this is the sum of cell suppose a uh, total uh, east region there are john suman and sumit and these are their cell values so what is the total so total east 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 region total eastern uh, zone so this is the total cell value suppose this is north north area total like this so uh, you can you can uh, identify the zone wise total number of cells or, or who are the persons uh, deployed for the regional cells and if you want date wise here uh, here the date wise you can see this date cell and years you can add the years also at row level years date so years and date and this is the sum of cell the right hand side this is the value this is sum of cell so likewise you can you can uh, choose you can customize here you can filter also you can filter so whatever data you want to fetch you can filter from here so this is uh, the cell value of total sum of uh, cell in 2018 and this is in the month of may suppose in 2020 in the month of april this is the total cell value month of may july and december and this is the grand total for the three years 2018 19 and 20 so from this table from from this table only using this using this table as the reference data table we can find out as per we can find out the data as per our requirement so with the help of this pivot table it's very easier to customize all the required data using this pivot table if you want uh, if you want Uh, more detail about pivot table or step by step any further uh, explanation you can drop your comment in the comment box here then i will try to cover up all the queries and if possible i will make uh, separate videos for each and every uh, each and every type of uh, table uh, for this pivot table